guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and today I want to talk to you guys about how not to get cauliflower ears if you're a grappler, okay? So if you're new to the channel, just give me one second here, there you go. If you're new to the channel, please take the time to like and subscribe to my channel, it would help me out a lot. Uh, here we're all about a smart, sustainable and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys. So let's get right into it your ears okay now there's a way to know if you're more prone to uh to having cauliflower ears or not okay now if your ears are really flexible like mine you see when you go like this and you can just like play with it and you could feel it's very the cartilage is very flexible okay and there, then chances are uh you have a better chance of not getting cauliflower ears you're less prone to it than than uh, if you had cartilage that was really hard and you can like you could hardly bend it and it doesn't really like come off your ear like this you see where my ears look it's it's you know it's very flexible so if your ears are more stuck to your head and they're very hard they don't move very well there, there's no play there's no flexibility then you're probably more prone to um, getting cauliflower ear so one thing that you should really consider okay if you're really worried about your ears is ear guards so this is an ear guard right here okay it's wrestling ear guards and uh, they don't cost a lot you can get them on amazon and um, you can also just go to any sports uh, store that that sell uh, equipment for wrestling okay and if you're wrestling I would really recommend these even if you do have um, ears that are flexible like mine's because in wrestling what happens is that there you shoot in a lot and there's so much impact on your ear that it's bound to happen I mean even though I have like these flexible ears and I'm, I've been grappling for uh, close to a decade now like I still have this little piece here that uh, that's hard as a brick and that was because I pulled my head out really hard once when it was stuck okay and um, when it was stuck like in between uh, some like somebody's arm or between somebody's leg you know when they're doing triangles and shit and I pulled it out too hard and that's what happened you know like it was uh, I felt it was liquid inside I didn't uh, it wasn't much so I didn't take a needle to um, uh, to drain it okay and it became hard as a brick now if there's too much liquid you got to drain it but uh, that's another story so anyways that's what happens so even if uh, if you're doing wrestling though I would really recommend this unless you really don't give a shit about your ears and 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 how they they're gonna look okay uh, but if you're worried you know you don't want those ears then like when you start wrestling get this before you even start because especially like if your ears are not flexible because if your ears are not flexible like mine's okay like that first course could fuck up your ears right away okay so that's um that's one way to find out okay so if your ears are flexible okay you have a better chance of you're less prone to it but if your ears are hard as fuck your the cartilage and you know you move it around it's not really moving chances are they're gonna blow up okay so if you have those type of ears, you have very tough and rigid cartilage in your ears, you should really consider this, okay? Now, if you have ears like mine's, okay, I would still consider this if you're doing wrestling, but if you're just doing judo and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and there's, there's still, uh, there's much less impact on your ears. Most of the time, uh, your ears will be affected when you try to yank your head out of a uh, submission, okay? Uh, a guillotine, a uh, arm and triangle, uh, or a, um, what do you call that, uh, uh, or a triangle, okay? So if you try to yank your head out of those positions um, without any technique, you know, you're just like, oh shit, I'm caught, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna muscle it, and I'm just gonna rah, like that, well, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna cause so much friction that it's gonna fuck up your ears. Now, the way to do it is to not do that. So don't pull your head out like a goddamn savage, okay? Because, so the way you have to do it is that you have to create, you have to use technique instead. So if you wanna get out of that position, okay? Like if you can't get out of it um, using uh, technique, creating space, okay? And timing, then fuck it. Like don't pull your head out and tap. 
that's it. You'll save your ears, okay? So that's that's how you're gonna save your ears, okay? If you um, uh, if you don't want if you want to save them, if you care enough about them, you know, like the look, because I don't have them. I have a little piece here that's hard, but I mean, you could just type in cauliflower ear or wrestling ears or judo ears, and you're gonna see it's like <laughs> it's all all swollen and crooked and. And it, a lot of these guys even have a hard time putting in, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, earphones, you know, because there, there's like the space here is all, all messed up. So they can't even put earphones in there anymore. So unless you like that look or you just really don't care and whatever. Uh, but if not, then I recommend if you have hard cartilage type of ears, right away before you even start okay and if you don't you have soft well be a, if you're doing wrestling fuck it take this too if you're doing judo and bjj don't pull your head out like a goddamn savage okay because even if your ears are flexible it could still happen you see it happened to me here and i mean if i kept on uh, and then i adjusted my technique and then since my coach told me uh, this was my first Brazilian jiu-jitsu coach told me, well, don't yank out your damn head like that. Then, you know, so I stopped doing it and I'm, I'm okay. I've been doing uh, uh, grappling for about 10 years now and you see my ears are good. But I pulled it, I had this uh, on the side and since I started wrestling, um, I started wrestling again once a week, I'm bringing this with me because... God damn, wrestling, it's not the same. You shoot in and you, like, you shoot in and the guy's sprawling on you. Like you get so much impact on your, on your ear. You know, your knees, you get it here, on, you know, shoulders, headbutts, all kinds of shit. So um, really like uh, I'm gonna take care of my ears because even though I have a wife and I'm married, uh, I still don't, I still want my ears to, to, to look this way, you know? And um, hey, you get used to it. It's not that bad. I mean, you might not like it at the beginning. It feels awkward and shit, but I'd rather feel a little bit awkward than have my ears all like uh, messed up and shit. All right. So um, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. So like, comment, subscribe. Any questions, I'll, I'll be glad to answer. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. So, oh, by the way, I'll leave a link uh, down below where you can go get uh, some, um, some ear guards. And I recommend it, like, um, really, if you're doing wrestling, then you should really think about, or even no gi, uh, BJJ, right? Because when you're slipping and sliding and you're going in for takedowns and shit like that, and you want to use a lot of head pressure, like, you should protect your ears. So that's it. I'll leave a link down below. Thank you very much, guys. Peace. See you in the next video.